There are a number of leadership habits that will keep you invisible. Being visible as a leader should be a priority for you, especially if you want a long and successful leadership career. But it doesn't mean you have to be the loudest and the most noticed person in every room. What matters more when you want to be visible is that you are present, that you are engaged, and that you build genuine trust with the people that you work with. In order to achieve this, you want to avoid the very first leadership habit that will keep you invisible, which is not being present. This can mean not being physically present in the office or around your employees, but it can also mean not being present in conversations, in meetings, or in other interactions with other people at work. It's tempting to not be present. If you're not really a people person, you might want to stay in your office or stay at your desk and only interact with people if you really need to. You might avoid interacting with people in your team or with other leaders in the company as well. Or when you do have interactions with other people, you might not fully inject yourself in the conversations and you might remove yourself from that conversation as soon as you can. Although it's tempting, not being present will keep you invisible. It will prevent you from developing relationships with people in your team, which you need if you want to be able to lead them properly. It will prevent other leaders knowing who you are and what you're capable of, which you need if you want to be promoted. There are many ways you can start to be more present as a leader, starting with sharing your opinions and ideas during meetings, even if they're not fully fleshed out. Have regular one-on-one -on -one meetings with people in your team to find out what they are working on, what they are struggling with, and help them to overcome those struggles. Connect with your peers and your boss, so other leaders at your level inside the company and also your boss and other higher-ups too, so they know who you are and what you are working on too. The second leadership trait that will keep you invisible is not communicating transparently. Transparent communication is honest communication. It helps people listening to you understand your true thoughts, your feelings, your opinions, and your needs, which in turn helps you appear to be more present in that moment and more visible as a result. You have to admit that when you get to know what people truly think, you feel they're revealing a part of themselves to you. You notice them more. You remember the conversation a lot more. And you certainly remember that person a lot more too. But it can be quite hard to communicate transparently. Sometimes you just don't want people to know what you truly think. Other times you might have an opinion or an idea and you know other people are going to disagree with you, so you keep it to yourself. If this is something you can resonate with, then I recommend when you want to try to communicate more transparently and more honestly with people, you need to start off small. Start by sharing small ideas or small opinions that you might have easy opinions, things that you know people are probably going to agree with or less likely to disagree with. Get used to this feeling of communicating in an honest way. And then once you get used to communicating about small things, maybe insignificant things, then you can branch out and lift your level of seriousness regarding the topics that you talk about. And you can share your opinions and your ideas about more serious topics and possibly about topics that you think the other person might disagree with. After a while, the ability to communicate honestly and transparently will become more natural to you. It will become a more natural part of your communication style and you'll find yourself communicating transparently all of the time. If you like what you've learned so far on this channel, then you might be interested in my podcast called The Leadership Pod. You can learn while you are running, while you're driving or while you're cleaning the house too. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Google, Spotify, Amazon, all of the major podcasting platforms, I will put a link for you in the description below. The third leadership trait that will keep you invisible is not connecting with your team, meaning you don't get to know your team on either an individual basis or on a group basis. When you don't spend time getting to know your team, you just see them as a bunch of people or as just a bunch of numbers. You don't really get to understand what their strengths are, what motivates them, what they're working on or what challenges they're struggling with. All of these things are really important for you to know about as a leader. So I highly encourage you to start connecting with your team on an individual basis and on a group basis as well. Start getting to know who the people in your team are. You see, if your team are invisible to you, don't expect to be visible to them. If you don't put in any effort in getting to know them, they won't have any motivation in getting to know you either as a leader. 
At best, they will put in just enough work so they don't get fired, and at worst, they might quit, find another team that has a better human connection. Yes, connecting with your team requires time, energy, and focus. And I get it, as a leader, you're busy, you're stressed, and you're overwhelmed as well. You don't always have time to connect with people in your team. But I assure you, if you don't make this time as a leader to connect with people in your team, you will always be invisible to them. It doesn't have to be anything demanding. Simply check in with people in your team every week to see what they're working on and how they're going with things. When you delegate to people in your team, ask them if they have any questions, if you can support them in any way so they can perform the task properly. When you have one-on-one -on -one meetings with your team, make sure you are intentional. Make sure you are present with them in that one-on-one -on -one meeting and focus just on them and the conversation you're having with them. Use their name when you're talking with them. This is a really easy way to make people feel that you are connecting with them on a human level. And if you haven't read the book, How to Make Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, I highly recommend that you read this book. It will give you a wealth of information and tips and insights into how to connect with people in your team or in your social life as well. The fourth leadership trait that will keep you invisible is not recognizing people's success. This is a major mistake on two levels. First, it makes that person who achieved that success feel invisible because they're not getting recognized for it in any way. And second, as a leader, it makes you become invisible because you're not aligning yourself with the success of the people in your team. You see, as a leader, when your team succeeds, you succeed because you, as the leader, have set the goal for that person to aim towards. You have provided them support. You have guided them. You've monitored their progress so they could achieve that goal. Therefore, part of their success is owed to you and you should leverage this success to build visibility for yourself. Now be careful, don't go taking credit for the work that person did. This is not what I am recommending you to do at all. All you have to do is to congratulate that person publicly on their success. As others in the team start hearing about the success of this individual team member, they will know that you played a part. They will congratulate you on your team's success. And just like that, you become more visible. Of course, developing executive presence as a leader will help you to become more visible, absolutely. But when you're at a senior level or at an executive level, there are specific things that you need to work on in order to build executive presence. I reveal all you need to know in this video up here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got a lot of tips and valuable insights to help you in your leadership career. If you did like it, please hit the like button below subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know every week when i release a new video thank you again for watching and i will see you next week in another video